This might be my favourite Bionicle set, at least one of them. There's so much to love about Malum. What's great? Well, we're going to discuss that in today's video. I'm also going to share some ways that you could use Malum's pieces to build your own wonderful LEGO creations. And then we're going to check out a few revamps of the character too. Ooh, but one other thing we're going to be doing today, and it's something I rarely do in these videos. I'm going to discuss some of the story behind Malum. We're going to dive a little bit into the lore, the stories, the books, the comics, everything. Because there's some super interesting stuff there. And learning even just a little bit of it, I think it makes Malum even cooler. So let's talk about this wonderful set. Look at these mighty fire claws. What a great idea for a weapon. And check out this incredible Keyt Orange and Dark Red Marbled Torso. This thing looks like it's erupting into flames. So, so cool. And you know, he's got this really small, stocky appearance and some very heavy and strong looking armor. He's just got such an iconic and beautiful appearance. And also, when we look at the Bionicle story, Malum might be one of my favorite characters. Yet Malum is said to be very powerful. Like, you know, more so than your average dude. I mean, look at him. This dude is super buff. He's been working out. Malum's also said to be very hot-tempered, violent, and aggressive. He served as the Fire Tribe's secondary Glatorian, but he was later exiled into the Wastelands as punishment for committing crimes in the arena. That's right, he's a bad boy. Now, while on exile, he challenged other Glatorian that he found purely out of anger and, you know, purely for his own gain. This dude is just an angry, angry man. But later on during his exile, he encountered a pack of Voroks and he challenged the alpha male for pack dominance. And he actually managed to defeat the alpha. How did he do so? Well, Malum faked his own defeat and then attacked the pack leader while his back was turned. But hey, the Vorox pack were like, that's cool, man. We willingly accept you as our leader now. And then the next day, Malum was like, you know what? I'm gonna track down that former pack leader and unalive them. This dude is petty. He fights dirty. He's just mad all the time. Yeah, he's meant to be a hero, but his actions certainly don't reflect that. Now, I remember buying this toy before I read any of his story, and looking at him, I was like, yeah, this is a noble and wise hero. Not so much. This is an exile. This is a bad boy. This is a scoundrel. It's characters like this that go to show you the layered, beautiful storytelling of Bionicle. They're awesome, complex characters that are way more than meets the eye. And when you dive in deep, it's so rewarding to read. Also, Malum has one of my favorite quotes of all of Bionicle. I'll read it to you. This is taken directly from the story serial that's titled Empire of the Skrull. Malum says the following to the evil villain, Tuma. You are the trash of the desert, and I am the one who will celebrate at your grave. Oh, Malum is so cold. He's a flawed and an imperfect character. Those are always the fun ones to read about. But look, as interesting as his story is, and as awesome as he may look, Malum comes with all sorts of incredible and wonderful pieces. So let's take a closer look and see what's included and get a couple ideas for how we could use them in our own Lego creations. I briefly mentioned this exceptional marbled torso piece. It's so good. Ero Okanonen kicks us off with a wonderful dinosaur creation that uses this part. The piece looks so good on the torso, just down the bottom here. Yeah, from a shaping perspective, the way it neatly wraps around the rest of the body and leads into other pieces, it looks sensational. But also the vibrant colors of this piece, they match the vibrant color scheme of the rest of this creation. And this just works on so many levels. Matt Goldberg also uses this piece on this mock. See how the Keat Orange lower half of the body very neatly transitions into the dark red on the shoulders and the arms? Isn't that just lovely? Marbled pieces like this are just the perfect way to create some incredible color gradients or just a really nice color transition. Yeah, this was great thinking, Matt. I love what you did here. Malum's mask is also pretty exceptional. I think it's just very well made and it's the perfect thing to be using on a fire-related character. Oscarbot has built a fire-related character and it's called Krull of the Eternal Legion. Yet to me, this looks like a creature that's made totally out of fire but they've had some robotic enhancements added onto their body. Now, using Malum's mask was such a good way to continue those fire vibes and, you know, make them look a little bit more menacing too. Malum comes with two of these foot pieces. Two of them have the little notch on the edges and two of them don't. Let's focus on the ones that don't have those notches. 
Trickmox uses them on a revamp of Axon. They're just placed here on the lower legs. And yeah, mate, they make for some awesome looking leg armor. Maybe you could use them in exactly the same way. Orbitech Mox uses them for leg armor as well, but this time they're on the upper leg. Now the back part of this dark red footpiece is being covered with this gunmetal CCBS torso armor. But honestly, that combination of pieces, and on a larger scale build like this, it looks so, so good. It's nice to know that if you're building a leg design, you can put these pretty much anywhere on it, and it's gonna look schmick. Malum also comes with four of these pieces. We can see them used on the lower legs and on the upper arms. Now these prefab arm pieces, I'd love to show you them up close, you know, take them off of Malum, but I'm not going to because I attempted to and one of them broke. Remember, this was the days of brittle dark red. Back then, whatever was happening with those pieces, they broke very easily. I don't really want these pieces breaking, so I'm not taking them off. If you have this set, be careful if you disassemble this guy. But how could you use these wonderful pieces? Well, old mate Crow has a creation that has integrated this piece into the upper leg design. And dude, surrounding this piece with Knight's Kingdom armor and a few other different pieces, it looks so good. Yeah, he's also used this piece up here on the upper arm. And yeah, that looks good too, but you know, seeing this piece so heavily integrated into a larger leg design, that's less of a traditional way of using this piece. And I always like seeing less traditional designs. Very exciting. And finally, maybe the best piece in this set, Malum's Fire Claws. How could you use these in a mock? Well, Kraken Bonks has an adorable little fish that uses these pieces to create a funky looking mouth and jaw design. And the way that these pair with that marbled Malum torso armor, just wonderful, isn't it? What a clever part use. You know, using them like this creates such an original and fun character. And finally, Ryan Z, otherwise known as Fuzzy Builds, they use these on a mock called Hot Pot. Yeah, this is the definition of creativity right here. The ends of the claws looking like legs, the fire at the top looking a bit like hands that are raised up, and then the centerpiece looking a bit like a head and a body. Wow, I never would have thought that you could turn this into a little man. Especially a little man that appears to be worshipping or, I don't know, dancing and partying with this creature in the center. But dang, these work so, so well for exactly that. This is so clever. The definition of nice part use right here. Great work, Ryan. Okay, now let's check out some revamps of Malum. We'll begin with a mock by Bob the Doctor 27 I like that they've given their version of Malum this nice dark tan scarf. Man, that just looks good. Yeah, this looks like the kind of thing that you would see on someone who's been exiled. And you know, he's been wandering through the desert for ages. It would make sense that he would wear this to keep sand out of his face and mouth. Yeah, I just think this fits him really well. And of course, if you're curious, this scarf piece came as a cloth that was used on the Rey Ultra Build Star Wars set. Now also, it's great to see these claws having been turned into a handheld weapon, instead of them actually just being his hands. It's just a small change, but it's one that makes a lot of practical sense. Now let's move over to a mock by Shubi4000, and they've built Morgara, brother of Malum. Now this, to my knowledge, is not a canon character. It's just someone that Shubi made up. And you know, it reminds me of when I was a kid and I would buy Transformers and play with them. You'd often get Transformers that were the exact same mold, the same design, but they were a different color. Now, sometimes this was meant to be a totally different character, or it was the same character, but they'd like powered up, and as a result, their color had changed. So if I ended up buying the exact same character, but in a different color, the way that I would play with them is I'd just pretend that it was their brother or something, even though that wasn't accurate to the Transformers storyline. So yeah, the idea of making another Bionicle character's brother, I just love that. Especially because you can really get away with them looking almost identical to the other character. Now, with this mock, the introduction of some key orange CCBS armor, good idea. It ties in very nicely with the face as well as the torso. And good idea as well to give these claws a couple thumbs. This just rocks. Alrighty guys, that's Malum. He's just the best, isn't he? If you enjoyed the mocks that I showcased today, be sure to check the links in the description below. You can see more from those builders right there. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Happy building, and bye for now. Also, fun fact, 
The word malum in Latin, it translates to evil, which makes a lot of sense for the character. But it also happens to translate to the word apple. Look at this cute little apple. 